Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. One of my previous videos that got quite a few clicks actually uh, was for a, a wireless charger upgrade for your center console. You know, if you don't have the LTZ or the High Country, you may not have a charger right here. So to be honest, I love having the charger here versus here because I've got lots of storage space right there. So it's been a sweet solution for me. You know, if you have a 2021 or newer with the wireless Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay, it really was the missing piece to get rid of all that wire and clutter in your center console area. You can just drop your phone in, connect everything, and you're good to go. So um, if that's kind of a solution you're looking for, I've got the video for you because uh, after I made the video for this one that's in my truck right now, a couple of the competitors for said product reached out to me and they asked if I could review their products as well. And my initial take from those products is that these could potentially all be great winners for the different type of person, depending on what you're looking for. If you're looking for install ease, if you're looking for, you know, the convenience or a certain look or something like that. Um, I, I have a feeling this is going to be a really cool comparison and depending on the person, you may pick your own different winner. So I'm really excited about that. I love all this techie stuff and easy DIY upgrades to make your truck the way you want it. So uh, stick around. This is going to be a good one. I'm probably going to have to extend the recordings of these videos down the road so I can get a decent road test with each of these. One of the products isn't even released on Amazon yet. They're sending it to me early. So um, yeah, I, I don't know how long this is going to take from today to when I get to my last video recording. So uh, yeah, buckle up. It's going to be a good one. This is Truck Ownership 101. I'm Spencer Abelbach. Class is now in session. All right, so after trying all these products out for a couple weeks, I actually kind of wanted to change how I laid out this video. So what I think I'm gonna do is just show you all three products, uh, rank them, and kind of tell you who I think they'd all be best for. And then I'll let you guys make the decision on what you like. If you are interested in seeing the installation of the Boost Auto Parts uh, product, I'll just tack that out at the end. Uh, I've already did a video for one of the Amazon ones, so. Um, how about we just get to the point? I think you guys would like it if I did that more often, right? So uh, here we go. Okay, uh, I, want, I first want to look at these two uh, because they're really kind of, I think, after the same market. So we'll kind of talk about those and then we'll throw in the third one here at the end. Um, Boost Auto Parts, we'll just call this the one of the Amazon products. I know they have their own name, but um, let's first go with uh, uh, install. Um, I would say they're co very comparable. You do have to tear uh, apart some molding some trim pieces and stuff um, you know they both this is for the amazon one but they're similar uh, they both have a wiring harness which is great you know you're not splicing wires or anything you just snap little connectors off and put them back in so um, that's good i will give a slight edge on installation to the amazon product uh, you don't have to drill any holes for this one uh, the wiring is a little more uh, slender it fits into some tighter spaces than you use some zip ties is how they do it um, the boost auto parts product does require you to drill two holes one you're never going to see so it's not a big deal it's this plastic underneath everything and there's trim pieces here so um, you never see it. You do have to drill a second hole right here, and that one, like I said, is a little more noticeable when you flip up the center console, but when you close it, you never see it. Not a big deal. But uh, one of the things that I value in some of my mods is it being 100% reversible, and that's technically not 100% reversible, so I will give a slight install edge um, to the Amazon product. But once you get past that install, uh, what's it like... Uh, you know, my couple weeks, you know, I had this one for more than a couple weeks. Um, I've had this one for a couple. What's my daily driving like? And I will say, hands down, no contest. Not saying that one of them is worse or one of them is bad, but I will say the Boost Auto Parts is a 100% uh, the winner for me and what I value. Um, first off, the looks. I think this one, I think most people would probably agree with me. Let me know in the comments, but I think the Boost Auto Parts has a better looking product. It looks more stock, more factory. Um, people jumping in your truck would never suspect that that's not factory. This one, I think, you know, my wife wouldn't know the difference, <laughs> uh, but uh, it does look a little kind of more flashy aftermarket kind of thing and has a lot more, you know, lighting and stuff. So, um, 
yeah, uh, kind of that kind of thing. So as far as you know, looks, I would give it to this one a little bit. Uh, what about functionality, usability, day-to-day -day stuff? I would actually still give it to the uh, Boost Auto Parts because they have a three-coil charger, which means you have better locations for charging. You can have it in a low spot. You can slide it up a little bit. Um, let's see. You probably didn't like me doing that. There it goes. Cool. It worked. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot more versatility in charging. Uh, the Amazon product has a single coil dead center, and you got to be dead on with that. And, um, you know, um, I was having some troubles once in a while making sure my phone was perfectly aligned. If it was a little high or a little low, it would not be happy with me, and then this would flash at you. I'm glad that it flashed at me, I guess, because I, I want it to charge, right? So, you know, it reminds me to move it or adjust it. Um, my pro tip for that is to buy the right one. <laughs> uh, they make a, like, I guess I'm kind of an Apple person, so they make like a, a Max version and they make a regular version. Um, my regular, I have a regular 12 pro in an Apple case and it fits this one very well, very minimal movement. If you have a max with a case, it will not fit in this one anyway. And you're going to want to go with this one. Um, I first thought, well, what if I, if I'm future proofing, let's go with the big one. So if I later get a max, I'm compatible. Well, you're sliding around too much and the alignment's an issue. So um, if you have a max, go with this one, slam dunk, easy win. If you're confident you're never going to get a max, if that's too much phone in your pocket, um, then go with this one, easy win. But if you're kind of like me on the fence thinking you might go bigger someday, um, uh, it is kind of an issue where this one is not. Everything fits great. Uh, alignment's super easy. You just set your phone on there and you confidently know it's working. Uh, other daily driving thing, uh, is the charging light. Uh, this one is super subtle and adjustable. You can have, you know, charging or something is not charging, uh, or just everything's off and it just works and you just have to look at your item. I love the little blue. I keep that on. Um, it just lets me confirm, you know, so I don't have to wake up my phone to know it's charging. This guy does not have any adjustability. Uh, that light is on when it is charging and flashing when it's not charging. It is very bright um, at night. Uh, I'll give it that. Not... I guess to each their own, but, um, there have been some complaints that that light is too bright and I understand where they're coming from. It does catch my eye at night. I forget about it. If it's just sitting there pulsing, charging, everything's fine. But when there's an alignment issue and it starts flashing at me, yeah, it'll, it'll get your attention. So, um, again, just another win for the daily driving of this one. I think, uh, the last part, uh, as far as the comparison, uh, is the price point. And I can't really talk prices on a video because the video lasts forever and prices change. But I will say uh, this one is more competitively priced than this one at the time of filming. So to me, this one's just a clear winner for me. Um, you know, I like the look. I like the ease of charging. I like the subtle light. And I like the price point a lot better. So, um, but if I, I like the look of this one better, um, you know, if uh, I wanted 100% reversibility, uh, you know, for my mod this one would be the winner. So um, neither one is bad, but I know I'm going to be keeping this one in my truck. The Boost Auto Parts one uh, is the winner for me. But before we get too wrapped up in this video, let's look at the third contender, which uh, is definitely approaching the problem from a different way. <laughs> uh, and the price point might convince you otherwise. You can pause that if you want to read it or not. I thought that was kind of cool. Must be. I'm one of the first hundred customers. So that's cute. Uh, all right. So um, uh, we have a wireless charging solution that utilizes a tray feature. So, you know, we've are wirelessly charging and, um, we're kind of, I think every truck needs a tray thing. So if you don't have one of these, it's worth considering. Um, you know, you want to watch the install video for this one done. <laughs> I think that's going to get some people right there. If they don't want to take off all the trim pieces or drill holes, boom done okay uh how it works is there is a usb-c on the bottom here there's all these nice little rubber things that i don't want to spill out here so sorry if i can't get you the best shot but there you go usb-c um and then it, it goes into a charger so now i know what you're thinking well gosh why would you just plug it into this boom done wireless charging Unfortunately, GM does not provide enough power output in these uh, USB-A or USB-Cs. It's about 10 watts when I measured it. And that's not enough for even 5 watt slow charging. Um, you know, there's things like Qi wireless standard. I don't know if that, I'm, I don't, I'm getting past my knowledge base here. But I can tell you, I tested it and it doesn't work. All these lights start blinking and flashing and going crazy and nothing works. So when it's plugged in properly, and we'll get to that next, um, you'll see that you have a blue light when it's on. That is a push button. You can turn that off. 
You can turn it on. Uh, nothing's happening. Drop something in. Solid green light. You know you're charging. So that's really nice. Um, and again, it claims to be 15 watt fast charging, just like everything else does. How it's powered, like I said, this is probably going to get a couple of people, but again, uh, we'll show it here. Um, it goes around the back. There is no wiring harness um, and it just goes into the 12 volt. The 12 volt uh, adapter, which this comes with, so that's nice, is 3.0 rapid charge and it plugs into the back here. And it's still subtle. I mean, from where I'm sitting, I can't see the wire. So, that, I mean, that's, that's a win. Um, it is a touch harder to close because that wire is in there. But um, for installation, no trim panels to remove, no wires to, to connect or anything. I think that's going to be the answer for some people. I think they're going to like that. Um, also, the price point. <laughs> we talked about what some of them might also be. Uh, this one, I guess I'm confident enough to say that at the time of filming, it was under 50 bucks. And I mean, just for the tray and the nice little rubber pads and everything, let alone 15 watt fast charging, uh, that's huge. Cause like I said, it's approaching the problem a lot differently and doesn't have all the nifty, uh, wiring harnesses and stuff. But, um, but yeah, like I said, for getting the tray solution, which I think everybody would have a use for, I mean, you got a spot for pens, um, business cards, change, and like I said, whatever other things you can think of. You could charge your phone 15 watt fast charge in there if you want, or like I said, uh, you know, earbuds if you have that ability. Do I personally want to throw my phone inside my center console every time I want to charge it? No. So that's kind of a deal breaker for me. Do I want to wire uh, out the back like that? No. So, uh, but um, like I said, for under under 50 bucks and uh they actually sent us a promo code which i'll put in the description of this video as well to get another 10 percent off for all my viewers so get a few more dollars off that you might be surprised with how cheap this is you should check that link to see what it actually costs <laughs> um so a great product it's well built solid i have no complaints with it whatsoever to be honest i'm gonna keep this in my truck um and maybe not always have the plug-in, but maybe in the summer when I've got a you know a summer uh, gig where I'm using my earbuds every day, I want them always topped off and charged. So I'm just going to leave those in here, and um, I'll never have to worry about my case running out of juice again. So, um, like I said, if for somebody that just wants a wireless charging solution and a tray organizer and doesn't want to spend a bunch of money like some of these other products are, that's awesome. I'm really happy with it. I thought that was really cool for a new product out there. I'm glad we've got options. Okay, so um, did I pick a clear winner? Obviously not. Um, it really depends on the person. Um, me, personally, the Boost Auto Parts one was a, a fantastic pick. Um, I can get through that little extra install, which will be at the end of this video. So if you're interested, uh, check that out. Hopefully that gives you a little confidence to pull the trigger and take on that as well. Um, the Amazon one was very similar. It cost a little more, which I think is is a problem i think they need to get a little more competitive <laughs> uh, but um also it worked great you know the alignment issue aside the product functioned so that's big um yeah and then like so the amazon one the third one the tray is just it's really cheap and it works well and it serves a different purpose if i wanted to wirelessly charge my phone um and leave my truck you know i don't want to put it right on my center console and with a take me sign on it so maybe that's maybe that's the right thing for somebody so uh let me know what you think in the comments which one is better which one you know uh, which one serves a better purpose for you please comment let's uh let's let the community kind of help people sway people if they're indecisive still um uh, in the description again follow those links that does help support the channel so thank you for doing that also Subscribe, like we always say, uh, like the video that does help share it, get it out there more. Um, subscribing helps you guys get more informed when I have new content out. So I'd really appreciate if you follow it along because I got more videos coming. So I'll tack on that install video to the end of this. So stick around if you want to, but uh, until next time, class dismissed.